Hello everyone, and welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. Sarah, uh, we're up here duck hunting, but Sarah's kind of had a scratchy throat a little bit and losing her voice. So we were walking back from checking the crayfish traps and there's a bunch of rose hips there, so Sarah's going to try rose hip tea. Okay, so what she has is some rose hips that we picked off the side of the road. And she's going to boil up some water and we're going to put it in there and we'll let it seep for a little bit. I'm kind of thinking that part of her sore throat could be the fact that the wind this weekend has not stopped. And when you have the campfire going, it's like wherever you stand, the smoke is in your face. <laughs> How's it looking? It's bubbling on the side. That's almost ready. Okay, this is going to be Sarah's review of Rose Hip Tea. You know, it's not that bad. Can you taste the rose hip in it? Mm-hmm. I don't know what it tastes like. I guess it's kind of a berry taste, but... Is it? Not really anything that I've tasted before. Because what you're drinking is super high in vitamin C. Mm. Yeah, it tastes really good, actually. I like it a lot. Good, I got a whole bunch of them up at the tent, so if you're up there and you want to have some, I have a bunch up there. Yeah, this is probably the best wild edible tea I've had so far. So. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, for any of you that uh, don't know what a rose hip is, uh, go to the Jones Act Survival Channel main page, click on the wild edibles um, playlist, and there will be several rose hip ones, but there is one that identifies it, um, everything you need to know. So, there you go. That's a series review on rose hip tea. Thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel, obviously, with Sarah. <laughs> <laughs>